everyone and welcome to a, another YouTube video. My name is Jarrett Moore. I'm one of the Enterprise DNA experts and recently I had a session at the Enterprise DNA Summit. That was last week and one of the questions in the comments was that somebody wanted a video to schedule one of the Power Automate desktop flows to run. So in this quick vid YouTube video today, I'm going to go over how to schedule a Power Automate desktop flow to run inside Power Automate Online. So without further ado, let's head on over to the Power Automate Online and get this flow, get one of the flows scheduled. Now that the website has loaded here, in order to get to this website, all you would have to do is basically just type in flow.microsoft.com and that would take you to this homepage right here. And this is what it would look like if you were already signed in. And what I'm going to do is since I already have some of these flows set up, I'm going to click on the My Flows link over here on the left-hand side. When we click on the My Flows link, this is what appears on the screen. Now that we're at this screen right here, what I want to point out is these tabs here at the top, we have cloud flows and what cloud flows are. Um, it, it could be anything that you've uh, created through flow.microsoft.com. Like one of our enterprise DNA expert, Henry, a lot of his videos, um, this would be, you know, uh, typically most of his flows would be under cloud flows. And th these are right here. Most of these right here are flows that I already have currently set up. Um, that trigger or run those desktop flows on a schedule. So there's a desktop flows over here on this tab. And as this loads, you can see I have all these different desktop flows set up. And then you also have another tab for business process flows. And then obviously uh, or there's another tab here that's shared with me if some other user within your organization has shared a, uh, a flow with you, it would appear in that tab right there. But for today's video, I'm just going to be concentrating on the cloud flows because in order to schedule a desktop flow to run, like in my situation, what I do is I schedule these flows, these desktop flows to run during the night so that when I wake up in the morning, I have the Power BI refresh schedule turned on. So basically this right here, these flows are downloading the data that I need to import into Power, Power BI desktop. So those refreshes when they're scheduled to run in the morning have that updated data. All right, now that we're on this Cloud Flows tab, I'm gonna show you a few things here. Basically on the left-hand side, you can see this um, icon right here that lets us know that this is a scheduled flow. I'll show you here momentarily what all these means. The ones that are highlighted up here at the top and then this one right here are current flows that I don't have turned on. I have them set up, but they're not scheduled to run, so I have them turned off. So if we wanna go in and see uh, one of these flows, what I can do is just click on the name of the flow and this just gives you the name of the flow, some of the, the key metrics of the flows there's different stuff here at the top that you can do but for today's video i'm just going to show you kind of a brief overview of this page right here and then it gives you the 28 day run history and and today is february 27th and you can see you know at 145 this morning this flow did fail one of the cool things about this is, is i can actually click on this link right here and it says it flows it, it and it says timeout has expired so what i can do is go over here and click on this link and then scroll down the page and there's this C run details that'll open up a new page here as that page loads up once we get here it will go step by step and show us each one of these uh, processes and where which steps proceeded and then where it failed as you can see over here on the right hand side of the screen everything was good until this point. What I really like about this right here is you can click over here on this right here and it shows you a picture of what the screen looked like when the fail or when the flow failed. So that's a cool little example of what you can do when your flow, you know, to kind of investigate and see the, the finer details on why your flow may have failed 
and the reasons why. So what I'm gonna do now is go click back on my flows, take us back to that main screen. Some other cool things that we can do from this page right here is you have the ability to run the flow by hitting this button. You can edit the flow, which would be like this, the steps that I'm about to go and show you how to do, so I won't click on that for now. You can share this with another member inside of your organization. And then by clicking on the three dots right here, another menu comes up, kind of like a shortcut menu, gives you different options to do right inside of here. So that's a little bit of what this main screen looks like once you've actually have, have some cloud flows set up. And, and in my case, most of these are, are triggering desktop flows. So what we're gonna do in order to create another one of these cloud flows just like this, and I'm going to use the example that I did in the summit session last week, is you go up here to this top button right here and click on new flow. And there's a menu that's gonna come up here and you have these different types of flows. You have an automated cloud flow, an instant cloud flow, a scheduled cloud flow, desktop flow, or a business process flow. And that's where this icon comes right here. You can see that these are scheduled cloud flows. So for this example today, I'm gonna to be clicking on scheduled cloud flow. So what you're gonna do next is actually give your flow a name and we'll just call this test one, two, three for today's example. And this right here is starting. So today's date is 227. You can change this to whatever day that you want this to start. And then what time do you want this flow to run? So for example, let's do um, later in the day since it's already past 10 o'clock. So let's do, let's just do 11.30 at night. And this is just an example, folks. And then what you have here at the, in this section is repeat every, like right now it's set up to one, every one minute, but you can change this to month, to week, to day. In my case, what I use is, is on a daily basis. So I'm going to select the day option. So basically by selecting what we have here is it's going to start today at 11.30 at night and it's going to repeat every night moving forward until we tell it to stop at 11.30 p.m. And, and that's how I set up these, these flows to run. That way during the night these flows run, I have the refresh schedule for the Power BI uh, reports to refresh in the morning. So this is how I, I set up a lot of this to run my desktop flows. One other small tip that I'll give you here before I hit the create button at the bottom to go to the next step in this process is when you do run a scheduled cloud flow based on your desktop flows, you will have to have your machine or your computer cannot be asleep. It has to be on during this, this time. So that's, that's maybe a, a whole nother YouTube video that I can get into at a future date. But I just wanted to give you that tip that if you did this and you and your machine was asleep, you would see the next day that it failed and it would tell you because the machine was not awake. So um, there are different ways that you can do this and, and I'll go into that here in just a second. So what we'll do now is we'll click on the create button and create this flow and it automatically creates that recur reoccurrence step that we just created there, but we're not completely done there setting it up, which would think that it would automatically already do that. So if you just click on the reoccurrence here and click on edit, and then right now it just says it's going to run every day, but it doesn't tell you what time. Normally in this box right here, it tells you what time. So you're just gonna click on show advanced options. And then here you gotta select your time zone. So in my case, it's gonna be Eastern time. So I'm gonna select Eastern time from the menu Nothing to do with the start time, that's okay. And what we're gonna do at these hours is where we're going to select what hour we wanted this flow to run. So we wanted it to run at 11.30 at night, so that would be 2,300 hours. And then in the minutes here, we wanted that at 11.30, so I can just type in 30. And I don't know if you saw in the options here or not, but if you wanted to run this multiple times obviously we'd have to change the um the frequency at the top there but you can separate these numbers by commas to run at different times throughout the day so there, there's a little option for you but i'll enter 30 here and then what you'll do next is create a new step 
Once you click on new step, this is what comes up here. What's great about this is what you're gonna select already is on the screen here. In this case, it's just click on desktop flows button. And then it's going to give you two options here. Run a flow built with Power Automate for desktop. That's the one we're gonna to use today. Also has a uh, run a flow built with Selenium IDE. So in this case, what I'm gonna do, click on this right here, run a flow, and that will open up this step right here. It's loading. So what we do next is desktop flow. So at this point, where you're gonna select is you would need to select or, or know which flow. There's a little error message that come up and let's go into that before I choose the desktop flow. So basically what's happening here is I have multiple computers set up to run flows and I need this particular machine. I, I have, have to go over here to these three, the three dots right here and you can see that my home connection it's an invalid connection right now. So I, I know just from, from history on what I have to choose, I have to choose this desktop right here. So when I select this desktop, now everything should be good once I go back over here. So go to desktop flow, we're gonna select a desktop flow, and I'm going to scroll down to the enterprise DNA example, because that's the one that I just did in the summit there. And then run mode. You're gonna get two options, a tenon, attended and unattended. I don't know what the difference in the pricing is, but I know it's a, a significant amount. But if you go to the Power Automate homepage and look at the prices, there, there is a, an extreme difference between attended and unattended. So for us folks, the majority of us are gonna be using attended flows because that means that we have to be signed in in order for the flow to run. You can run them unattended, but the price is a significant difference just wanted to point that out so what we're going to do here is since we've 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 chose the flow from here and we, we chose attended now all we have to do at the bottom here is click save once we click save now we'll see this message appear right here that says your flow is ready to go and that we they say that we that you recommend to test it so you can go up here um, to flow checker and do this but for this video we don't um, we're not going to get in, into that today but I just wanted to show you guys I'll click on these three pencils to um, or actually I'll just click on the blue I just click on the blue bar there to, to close that here but these are really the only two steps that you need in order to set up a desktop flow to be scheduled to run there's a reoccurring step and then it's the run a flow built with power automate for desktop so it's, it's not really that hard to, to get these to go on, but you, you, you have to make sure when that error message came up earlier that we have, we have the right machine selected down here at the bottom because it, can, it shows you right here, once again, that the, this was an invalid connect, connect, connection and that was the one that came up first. So I had to select the right um, connection in order for the, the flow to, to save correctly there. Well, that's all I had for today's video. But what I would like for you guys to do in the comments section below, please enter any ideas that you may have that you would want me to do a video on in the near future for Power Automate Desktop. So if you have any ideas for that, your comments would be greatly appreciated in the section below there. Thanks again, and thanks for watching the video today. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.